Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I created this look which is a half cut crease with some glitter, a wing. It is glamorous. I've always wanted to try out a half cut crease. This is my first ever half cut crease. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I've done quite well for a first time. So I wanted to glam it up. I love my cut creases. I just think they're beautiful. They practically can suit most um, eye shapes I believe. Um, you can always adapt it to your eye shape. But this is my look. It is a pink, purpley glitter with some nude lips. And this is the look. So if you guys want to see how I did this, please continue watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. And I'll see you in my next video or in the one before this one. So yeah. So we're going to start off by taking Makeup Revolution's Ultimate Blush and Light and Contour Palette. Taking the second lightest bronzer contour shade putting that all over my eyes creating an angled winged effect then taking a pomegranate color and on another fluffy brush pushing this through the socket and then putting this all over the lower part of my lid so not taking that above where i put the brown and then i'm going to take this purple from um a freedom palette it was one of their vampire kits um, for Halloween and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyes with a big fluffy brush to basically contour and darken that outer parts of my eyes as you can see then taking some concealer and I'm beginning to cut the crease so I cut the crease above my actual crease line so that's how you're able to see it when or slightly be able to see it when I open my eyes and then to set the concealer I'm using the Kiko white eye eyeshadow and I'm setting that with my finger and then I take a brush just to sharpen up the edges a little bit better because obviously my fingers can't reach those edges really perfectly because I want them to be perfectly straight. Then again taking the purple matte shade and I begin to line where I've cut the crease to make the cut crease definitely much more standout-ish. You want it to be a noticeable cut crease and this also gives it the effect of like a smoked cut crease look. Then taking this Kiko eyeshadow in 220, it's a shimmery light pink. It didn't come out as pigmented as I wanted it to. I was expecting it to come out really, really super pink, but it didn't. So um, I ended up taking a little bit more of the purple eyeshadow to blend the two together um, so that it really creates a softened half cut crease effect. Then I took Tinashe's MAC Collab Palette and I took the shade Vulnerable which is a frosted a purple and I put this on top of the pink and it came out so much better and I loved it like that. Then taking my Mary Luminizer by the Balm and putting that on the inner corner to create the brightness of the inner corner. Again, the second lightest contour shade on the lower part of my lash line to darken it and then adding some colour into that so it's like a first and second shade basically it's like defining my lower lash line with two colours again and I keep the the depth on the outer corner of my eyes again the 220 Kiko pink um, shadow all across my lower lash line then I begin to do a winged eyeliner with brown eyeliner in fact and this is actually a brow pomade by freedom it is in dark brown and i just did my wing with it i thought it was less harsh than the black eyeliner and then lining my eyes with in the waterline with the bold silver barry m eye pencil and smudging it out with my finger then taking max soft and gentle which is a very soft highlighter underneath the arch of my eyebrow which i love then I thought, hmm, to amp it up, let me add some glitter, obviously, and I added Collections number 8 Dancing Queen Glitter Eyeliner, just above the eyeliner, the brown eyeliner that I put on, and stopping by the half cut crease. Then adding the Superdrug Own 1, 3, 13 lashes, they're really beautiful. Um, and for the liquid cream highlighter, stick highlighter, it is the collection Pearl Sheen highlighter on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, cubes bow and chin. And then to top it off with the soft and gentle highlighter, again, cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, cubes bow and chin. And that's how you know you're going to be lit to the gods. Beautiful. And for the mascara, it is the L'Oreal X Fiber mascara on my lower lashes. Then to set it all, of course, my all-nighter setting spray really spritz yourself. As you can see, yeah, my face ended up being wet. But 
it stayed all day and then the lip liner is miss sporty coffee lip liner which is a nude and for the lipstick it is a really old maybelline lipstick in 602 beige rose and then the lip gloss is ghost it doesn't really have a shade tf01 pretty cool so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this look it's pretty cool it's my first attempt at a half cut crease i really hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah if you guys want to see more please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye In the same way that the stars are doing the sky, yeah. Ooh, and it's time now. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, my love. Oh, oh, baby. Come on, eyelash glue. <laughs>